Cool. Welcome to episode number 164 of the Food Scientist Podcast. Brian, you don't look very scared, but you should be. This is a guaranteed Brian face episode. There's wasabi, there's jerk chicken, adobadas, West Indies, chili, one Amy who forgot to mute. It was <laughs> muted. It does that sometimes. It unmutes itself. Ah, yes. So I we've been visited it. by the unmuting ghost. Um, it, it, it happened just, to Brian last time. It just happens to Amy. <laughs> I, uh, Brian just <laughs> forgot. Uh, Amy is visited yes, by I, ghosts. I, I, forgot <laughs> we have been one me this week we have been traveling the world this week uh in search of potato chips uh and we have we. yeah and, and yeah which there are oh. hints there are hints in some of our backgrounds here that we'll be talking about too this episode yeah um, yeah i'm going to space uh <laughs> yeah we have lays from all over the world it's crazy mm-hmm. saudi arabia india china the united states a new American flavor that actually came to us from Mexico. I'm terrified. Yeah, the beginning is going to be mostly okay, but the end of this episode, oh dear. <laughs> it's going to... We might be a little salty by the time this is done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or a lot. Or a lot. This great. My ankles are already swelling in anticipation <laughs> of this episode. Maybe you should see a doctor about that. <laughs> I'll just get compression stockings. They're, oh, yeah. they're all the rage. Have you, you know, when you see like the old guys with the compression socks pulled up to your knees, you're like, boy, that guy is sexy. Just make no? sure you have nice sandals with them too. Okay. I mean, yeah, if they're black and you're wearing sandals, then yeah. And, that's, and you're that's... wearing like uh, khaki Bermuda shorts. Mm-hmm. Hmm. We should do a podcast. This is not yeah. going to go well. You know what? Instead of pausing, I'm going to Vogue this week. Okay. Either way, as long as you keep your mouth shut, that's what counts. Danny, we're, we're voguing. Oh. This is the Food Scientist Podcast. I am your host, Amy Zajac. I am here with Danny Sussman. Hello, Amy Zajac. Internet audience in ears and in eyes, and also the other person on this podcast who you the can introduce. Being Brian Pierce, who is also here. Yes, hello just to everyone listening and everyone not listening uh, as well. I appreciate it. I'm sure YouTube does that. You two are so close and yet so far away from each other. Yes. So uh, we will have our news and experiences. Then we have so many potato chips or crisps, depending where you're from. And all Lay's. All Lay's. We have some summer Lay's, different flavors. We have all sorts of international salty Lay's. And we're going to end with spicy Lay's. Also, in yeah, they're the basic classic Lay's potato chip, but everyone's take on it. Are they different? Are they not? This might be really boring. Yeah, it might be a really quick segment, but I'm really interested to see. We have four distinctly different regions of the world that are making the same product and how they will be the same or different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All the Lay's in the yellow bag. Mm-hmm. So, Okay. I guess we can start with uh, news. That's a good <laughs> idea. I uh, have more weird, well, I consider weird news. It's not that weird, but Cap and Crunch is trying to get into the Horio business because they're coming out with more products. A week or two ago, I talked about the Cap and Crunch bars, but now they're coming out with churro bites, which at first I thought was odd since when are Cap and, like chocolate churro bites, when are Cap and Crunch chocolatey? But they're also coming out with chocolate caramel crunch cereal. So it I feels like to each other. Like they figured out that when they're extruding the Captain Crunch, if they just like hold the like make a, a cereal nugget button a little bit longer, they could call it a churro. I mean, yeah. what, what, what would happen if we just cut every other one? But also the, the chocolate caramel crunch cereal has the original uh, crunch berries and uh other shapes or the, the other one but also has chocolate and caramel added to it so oh, it's not just yeah. chocolate and caramel it's all of it oh, the the berry chocolate- with that? no chocolate and caramel that sounds interesting but with the crunch berries in there gross is there anything that is better with crunch berries no i hate crunch berries they coat your mouth they, they kind of make it numb like novocaine <laughs> at least they really? use i don't know if they still do <laughs> 
I <laughs> honestly see, don't see how tough your gums are. I honestly don't know if I've ever had a crunch berry. It sounds too close to a dingleberry for me. Yeah, no, you the never know. Taste isn't necessarily yeah. that far off. And I'm just like, but uh, the no. girl kind of makes sense because the texture of a churro is kind of like the, the texture of uh, Captain Crunch. So I can see that as being a related product. Yeah, we'll the cinnamon toast that. crunch people are doing the same thing. It's weird. Like this is like the year of the churro because last year you had the mystery Oreo that was churro. Um, now you have the, right, the cinnamon toast crunch churro. This churro, uh, Aldi uh, has their like knockoff Oreos also has a churro flavor mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. all of a sudden everyone like got together and they're like you know what we should do is make churro everything i like real churros though i can't have a lot of them since there's cinnamon usually yeah but. i like super fresh ones like this the street vendor one where they have like that mm -hmm. that thing that kind of like they pull the lever it almost looks like it's pooping out the churro dough right into mm -hmm. the hot oil after that no yeah churros can be amazing they can be. They can also be like toasted and reheated and awful. Well, That's yeah. the fault of the maker and not the churro. Well, speaking of odd pairings, uh, Mountain Dew is coming out with a new flavor that is completely unexpected. And there's no date yet as to when this is coming out. But there is going to be a cake smash Mountain Dew. Oh, that just I mean, I guess it's just sugar or sugar flavor. It's birthday cake flavor i'm using air quotes to say that's going to be a uh, birthday cake flavored mountain dew i just don't know what they're thinking <laughs> just more sugar water less original dew flavor whatever that is supposed to be you know what that is um almost as weird as have you seen the other new mountain dew that's in stores well there's uh, another getting... voodoo another mystery flavor there's another voodoo but then there's a, uh, I'm assuming for Independence Day and Memorial Day, the patriotic one called Do S.A. With red, <laughs> white, and blue. Mm -hmm. um, I just look at that and I'm like, what does that even taste like? And apparently it's a mix of code red, white out, and voltage. <sighs> Which that could go, that could go either way. I you know what that just gives you like i don't know i feel like nobody's ever really benefited from mixing multiple flavors of soda together like you could convince me on adding a flavoring syrup but like you know what let's just go down the soda line i i know people did that in the fountains oh but yeah but that but that doesn't come out better no it's just different it's not yeah yeah no yeah. And so taking three different weird Mountain Dews and mixing them together, no. I think I might take the cake. But that you usually do. Um, the can of Cake Smash just, it says on the can, with a rush of artificial cake flavor. A rush. A rush of a rush. artificial. I like that it's artificial cake flavor. Mm -hmm. Like that. Like Does that mean it's going to be like a snack cake flavor? I mean, does that make you like it more? Because it's not a it's not a, a, a rush of authentic cake flavor, it's a rush of fake cake. Well, they want to let you know they didn't mash up cake and put it in there. Important Mountain Dew. They didn't because want sludgy Mountain Dew. We probably won't have it on the show because beverages are usually difficult. But it's something yeah. I probably will do it as an experience once it does come out. I've I've been sitting on some of the mango Pepsi and I can't even will myself to open a bottle. I like mango, but I don't know that I'm going to like mango Pepsi. Yeah. It's out. It's in stores. I have some. And I keep saying I'm going to drink it just to talk about it. And then I'm like, you know what? I do a lot for our listeners, but not that. <laughs> um, you know what I do like that's coming out, though? What's that? Uh, our, our friends at Oreo, they're going back to the well. And once again, it seems like every summer they find an excuse to put the, the popping candy into the Oreos. And they're doing it this year with the patriotic... Oreos. So the red, white, and blue ones that they had for the Olympics that didn't happen last year, they're back, but now with popping candy. I like the popping candy in the Oreos. I love the popping candy in them. I don't think it's necessary whatsoever. I like popping candy alone on its own. In it, no, that, that does nothing. 
it's just a distraction. My, my concern is, you know what? I it's a, it's another triple patty Oreo, and I feel like that's I just like hitting that cusp of too much cream. I like triple the cream though, because the pop candy will make it better. You know what though? I enjoy the popping candy, and I feel like it's going to come with the side of gross from all that cream. Yeah, like if not gross, like low level self hatred for wanting more. I don't need that. <laughs> mm, I, I don't either. Uh, but I, that is something that I do know we will be talking about once they come out on this show because, of course, we would talk about New Ori. Yeah, well, I mean, we didn't. Really, yeah. Well, you're also going to talk about this. What? Friend of the podcast, Heather, also posted this in our group about uh, Eminem's new flavor, new Ooh. rockin' nut road candy. It's filled with marshmallow flavor. It's not rocky. So it's road. rocky. It's right. rockin' nut rockin road. Nut, not rocky road. Rockin' nut. Rockin'. Rockin' nut. Rockin' nut. It, the M and M's are rockin' nut. Is the green M M&M and M on that one? Um, there sort of. There's the yellow and the green. Really. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it's kind of like Rocky Road ice cream, right? Well, yeah. Okay. That's why I just wanted to make sure because I feel like some people might misunderstand that one. Yes, rock and nut. It's hard. It's a hard yeah. track. So it's filled with like fake white chocolate. Is that what we're inferring? They, there's just like there's just some white stuff in there. Yeah. It's white stuff in the bust and the, no rock and nut. Yeah, exactly. Let's move on. Yeah, we've got experiences, guys. We have experiences. And Brian's, like, holding his face. Yeah, Brian's okay. He's fine. <laughs> so I'll, I'll talk this way. I had the worst cookie of my entire life. Oh, week. no, and we have Cookie Monster in the chat. Just in time. Oh, cookie Mo- cookie okay. Monster. You know what? I am, um, you know, for the podcast, I visit all sorts of international grocery stores because I love grocery stores. I love the internationals. I love finding the snacks. Um I saw some cookies in an Indian grocery store and I was like curious about the idea. So I actually bought two kinds. One of them was delicious. It was just like a a butter cookie. Uh, One of them had cardamom in it. Super good. Loved that. Uh, The other one um, had something in it that you see in your, um, your spice shelf. But I've never uh, thought about putting in cookies and my curiosity got the best of me. And I got it. And I'm sure that given the quantity of them that they had in the store, this is super popular. If like you grew up on it, it had cumin seed in it. Ooh. In pop or uh, in a cookie, in a butter cookie with cumin seed. I don't. Yeah. That's, I'm guessing it wasn't good. It doesn't sound good. Cumin okay. is chili. It's flavor. That smoky flavor. Yeah, yep. That smoky cuminy flavor. In a, in a like a butter not, cookie. Not in a cookie. To give you an idea, right? Like I will eat a stale donut, right? I mean, I won't feel good about it. It's kind of like the, the cream, but I'll do it. I ate one. I had a whole box of these cookies. I had one bite of one cookie. I couldn't even go back for a second bite. Oh, wow. Because I was just like the rest of the day, I just kept like thinking about that. Like, ooh, I just had like the smoky, like it just... I don't, I don't know what I expected because it was exactly what you would think it would be, but no. Mm. Not. Well, that's too it bad. kind of made me wish I had like done it for the podcast and subjected oh. you to it. <laughs> well, did you have any good experiences this week? Anything to balance it out? I did. I had a great experience this week. I went to Dairy Queen this week uh, because it is May Kit Royal. Uh, it, and it yes, filled it me is. with questions. It is um, because the brownie batter is the blizzard of the month. Uh, a fantastic base mm-hmm. to make it royal. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I uh, did that. I made it royal. Although I have a dilemma. I don't know what I actually had. Because I realized that currently on the menu at Dairy Queen is both the brownie batter blizzard and the choco brownie extreme blizzard. Do you know the difference between the two? I There's don't one... put in the host, so I don't have to. Yeah. Is uh is the choco one fudge and the brownie one chocolate? I don't know. Or cocoa. They both have choc- is is the brownie one hot fudge and the other one cocoa? I, I honestly don't know the difference. I think the best I can tell, because I studied their website to try to figure it out, mm-hmm. is um the one that I had had like 
the choco chunks, like the cone dip pieces. Uh huh. And I'm not sure if that's supposed to be in brownie batter or chocolate brownie extreme. Either way, it had like the chocolate ice cream, right? Like they mix the fudge in. It had the like the cone bit pieces, right? Where you get like those flat chocolate. It had brownie chunks in it. And then I put in the center peanut butter. That was amazing because that had all of the textures going. I had like the soft, it had the crunch, it had the creamy of the peanut butter. Man, like I usually do caramel to make it a gooey brownie. But I was like, I'm going to do the Brian. And I did that. Can't go wrong with the Brian. It, it no, too not rich at all. For you. Yeah, too peanut butter, rich protein. Yes. Yeah, why would that be? It healthy. was healthy. Yeah, it was healthy. Uh, you know what else I noticed? I think that they have a new thing on the menu that I did not have. Oh, what's that? Um, so, you know, they have the chip shakes. They've had like the, the mint chip shake mm-hmm. and the raspberry chip shake. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a choco hazelnut chip shake. Oh, I don't know if I was aware of that one. Yeah. Because that wasn't the I'm... new summer menu, right? The new summer menu one was the raspberry. Mm-hmm. Like no, raspberry. but that's out now. So there's oh. three chip shakes now. So we might have to go try that. It's not chocolate. It's choco hazelnut. So I wonder if that's going to just be like drinking crunchy Nutella. Because I'm there for it. I, I I would show up for that party. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In my mouth. Me. Well, for those of you watching the live stream. I wonder if that'll be like the new M&M's. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, I went someplace this week as well. Yep. If those of us been. watching, if you're watching the live stream, there's a theme behind two of us here. Going to tell you a little something. That Amy and I went to Vegas last week. Oh my goodness. It was so, so much fun. It, it was so good to get away. Uh, we're both vaccinated. And I was, after I got my second shot, I was like, okay, what flights are coming up in two weeks? Cause I keep getting emails about deals and I got such a great deal all around. I couldn't pass it up. And I was like, Amy, uh, do you want to go? And we won't tell Danny. I, yeah. I had I had comps too, so you know. That's fine. You know what? <laughs> yeah. So Danny, we went to Vegas last week. Surprise. Yeah, but you know what? Here, I'm going to hit you where it hurts, Brian. Uh oh. I went to Dairy Queen and didn't invite you. Oh. Well, maybe. Really? I'll- where would you rather go? At Vegas, because there's a. Dairy I had. Queen I had. Caliber. I had peanut butter in my blizzard. And I talked about you and I thought about you and I was like, I'm not inviting him. Well, see, something food related happened to me on the way to Vegas. <laughs> Go for it. On food the way? Break. I flew in a plane. Oh, uh, Danny, get ready. Get ready. I uh, was in first class because I had uh, credits and air miles on uh, Delta. And with the restrictions, which apparently they're just lifting this week and they're going to ser- serve their normal stuff, they weren't serving um hot food in first class no they haven't for a long time yeah i know i know but i was curious what they would have well they had like two sets of boxed things Mm -hmm. they didn't tell you what was in them there was only pictures and so i grabbed the one that had a picture of like crackers and cheese um it actually turned out to be kind of a good thing it was it had so much in it uh including little oreos and um uh some other good stuff. But I also, since it was the morning and I was tired, I didn't get my free alcohol on the plane either. I just got soft drinks. Um. She made up for it the second she got off the plane, I can tell you that. Oh, I did, I did. I got a double shot of a slushy drink as I walked into the the casino. So, So just for the record, host Amy's food experience after going to Vegas is about the airplane food. Well, so you got a box. So your food experience after like a week in Las Vegas is they gave me a box with prepackaged snacks the same way they've been doing for the last year. Well no, done, Amy. No, I thought this was the interesting. I just thought it was crazy that they didn't tell oh, you. Oh, there's a point. You had to go based on three pictures on a box. I mean, I ate a lot of good food in Vegas. Is there? Why didn't you just ask for all three? Is that like, uh, is that a, a surprise that I had good food in Vegas? No, it's a surprise that you didn't ask for all three. Be like, I can't decide. Like, well, it was just, two I'll boxes. Three. Each had three pictures on them, and you didn't. Oh, know. well, then just be like, uh, why not both? Like, and then this nope. box was not available on the flight back. It was two different boxes. <laughs> you know what? Dan brings up Dan brings up a good point, especially anything casino related. Ask 
you never ask. Hurt to ask. Yeah, so uh, that's my TED talk. It's called related? No Doesn't Hurt. The, the ask. airplane is casino related? <laughs> like, well, I mean. Okay, so I just gotta say this first. If you go to Vegas once, any future flight or any future trips rather will be so much cheaper. Yes. Um, if you gamble just a little bit, you know, like you doesn't even have to be a have trip. Paid for a room. Three rooms. Yeah. I can't what? imagine I can't think of the last time I paid for a room in Las Vegas. Yeah. I had been there once and that was a couple of years ago, and they gave me free three or four free nights in a hotel, no resort fees, two hundred and fifty dollar resort credit. So that meant food and drink. Plus, plus, I, had less I think credit than Brian, but I had credit. But plus, I think you were like the only two people in the city, right? Uh, it's picking up again. It wasn't bad, but yeah, they'll be like, "Hey, you're here!" Like, like every, everyone's gonna line up because they're like, "We're so happy to see somebody." Mm -hmm. It'll be like the time my dad accidentally went into like a homeless shelter for dinner on Christmas. They're just thrilled to see you when you come in. Mm -hmm. um, there's the question in the chat, Mexican Coke or American Coke. I actually don't drink uh, soda that often because, you know, it's so unhealthy. But uh, Mexican Coke uh, would win. That is better. Oh, yeah. Same. Um, so uh, I have to say first, uh, my first day there, uh, before Amy got there, she arrived a few hours or half a day later, I got to meet uh, Jack Potter Slots, a YouTube channel, and Beth Loves Vegas, another uh, channel. Uh, and Jack Byer's wife. They were all great, so much fun. Um, Beth Loves Vegas actually met Amy too and was so thrilled to meet the star of Food yes. Scientist. Yes. Referring to Amy. I, was, I wasn't there. He had your phone right away to Brian. It says, can you take my picture with the yep. star? And, then, and I, then she saw the look on my face. She's like, oh, I guess I'll take a picture with you too, Brian, if you want, if you must. Did she even notice that I wasn't there? Uh, we said, uh, you know, are you wondering about Danny? And she said, who? I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. so, so anyway. far, um, all I know about all of the food in like Vegas is that you didn't pay for it. And there was like an individually wrapped Oreo. Well done with the food experience. You I have more, but I'm going to let Brian know. Thank God. <laughs> so, so, I mean, my point about going once once you get that resort credit, especially that just, we ate so well. Um, one thing that I wanted to talk about is uh, we both ended up staying at New York, New York. There is a chocolate bar there, like a bar, like alcohol. Like, like a Hershey's bar? bar. Oh. <laughs> alcoholic bar that's chocolate. And the menu is all chocolate martinis, uh, it's a Hershey Kisses chocolate martini, uh, Hershey's caramel martini, death by chocolate, chocolate coconut, chocolate raspberry, peppermint patty, and Reese's peanut butter martini. Of course, that was the first one I had. The uh, first one. That implies there was more than one. Well, yeah. Maybe. I mean, I had all that resort credit to use. How many? I even got one from Brian's resort mm -hmm. credit because my resort credit we, ran out before his. We have a total of three. So we tried the Reese's, the salted caramel, and the the regular. The top one, the signature. That's yeah, Hershey Kiss. And one. chocolate vodka and Hershey Kiss and chocolate syrup. And it was so good. Yep. And um, yeah, the garnishes, you know, it's not pieces of fruit. It's pieces of candy in them. That's so that that uh, they were all just delicious. So if you're in Vegas, New York, New York for the chocolate martinis, they're fifteen dollars. But when you have resort credit, you don't even care. Like I did had you to do, it up. Did you do anything like? If you remember the the last time I was in Vegas, I had the forty dollar cheeseburger. <laughs> We okay, nothing, uh, nothing like that. I, I still dream of that cheeseburger, by the way. Worth it, I might pay that out of my own money for that cheeseburger again. We, we had, had an amazing, brunch. yeah, we had an amazing brunch at Bellagio. Uh, nice. it was just a, a Vegas so omelet, uh, which is like your know, bacon, sausage, a lot of cheese, and it came with uh, the best. Uh, cream cheese Danish that I have ever had. Um, fresh fruit, which was good. A side of hash browns and mimosa. It came with everything. It was like $44 when it was, you know, all said and done plus tip, I, I guess. I had to have like four beverages at once. <laughs> she did, Amy. 
Game couldn't decide. Hydrated. So when you had breakfast for forty dollars, did you wonder like, could I have gotten a hamburger for this? Well, here was the thing. Here was the difficult thing for Vegas or like any vacation. You're starting out the day, and it was like more brunch. You know, it was, yeah, it was like mid 10 morning. Yeah. Neither one of us finished because it was a lot of food, but also you have the full day ahead of you and you're walking a lot and it's hotter. So you're Brian, did, Brian, Brian, did you just use the F word? He used I'm the F word a lot in Vegas, Danny. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I said I, I worried about the F word. I did not use the F word a lot. But if you felt it. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, Silly Sally is talking about uh, chocolate martinis at Harris uh, in Nola. Uh, I would love to compare menus on that. Uh, so those are really good. Um, we wanted to go to Bruxy for chicken and waffles, but they're closed Bruxy for is good. Long gone. Yeah. Sad. Everything. There are LA locations that can still exist. Closed, but yeah. 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 So are we going to eat potato chips? Um, Amy, did you have more to say about Vegas? Oh, did I did, more? and I thought you did too. Yeah, I oh. have one more thing to say. Oh, all right. Um, okay. Oh, no, go, go ahead, Amy. <laughs> we, we know I love my Detroit-style pizza, and I finally went to some place all the way in Vegas, off strip, that lives up to true, authentic Detroit style. Oh, yeah, Amy, I'm so sorry to interrupt, but Danny, do you know who we saw there when we went off strip? Well, yes, if you were off, if you were off the strip, let, let me think about this for a minute. If it was off the strip, it was probably someone fairly degenerate, because mm -hmm. I'm guessing that your podcast channels they were probably on the strip because they're fairly classy. Um, so degenerate probably means unemployed. Did you see our former intern? Yes, we saw ex intern Ben. Like I, okay, I went to Kansas City. Was he holding a, a why lie? I need beer sign. I think I think that he kind of is stalking us a little bit, just to be honest. So if any of us go missing, maybe you know. I mean, he yep. definitely. I feel like he might have a crush on us. I, yeah, can you blame him? I mean, I think like when yeah. when he heard internship, he was like not thinking what we were thinking. <laughs> but anyway, we were eating. Uh, we were at a place with Detroit style pizza, which Amy was really excited about. It was called Pizza Rock at the Green oh, yeah. Ranch Casino. There's a couple of Pizza Rocks out in Vegas. Yeah. And uh, I was, you know, I expected good pizza, but I was dubious it would be true Detroit style because I've been disappointed about that so many times. So places. does that mean it was super expensive and they ripped you off? No. Or did you get robbed to make it? No. Because you know, Detroit, the, the true Detroit experience involves a robbery, right? <laughs> no, I, a murder maybe. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe. So they're but killing no. it. But they, they had the uh, ingredients all the way to the edge with the nice crispy mm -hmm. cheese at the edge. They had a good sauce. Um, the, the dough, the crust was just like perfect. Like some places get it weird. I don't know. Um, so it's pretty good, uh, authentic Detroit style pizza. They have other styles too. Something called grandma style, which is apparently more you dough. Can, and less cheese you can get a salty grandma. I don't think I want to eat a salty grandma. No. Ugh. I mean, I had a salty grandma, but she passed away. <laughs> Um, and my last experience from the week is, uh, Danny, in your honor, I had to, you know, also being at New York, New York, yeah. I got a black and white cookie. Yeah. Which, I'll be honest, I only knew uh, Bette Midler got one from Kramer on Seinfeld. That was my only knowledge. Oh, I, my God. I live for them. I, I have a box of miniature ones in my kitchen right now. Here's my confession. When they said black and white cookie, I kind of thought that they meant like a generic Oreo. No. But yeah, no, it's, it's a it's a cookie, but it's not because it's really more like cake. It's really yes. half, half like vanilla cake, sugar cookie type, and then half like chocolate. Same thing. Yeah, yeah, it's it. Yeah, I I bake them sometimes because I can't find a good one. Uh, you can get a decent miniature one nationwide at Trader Joe's uh, or a store that's a good kosher section. But then they are like little minis, not the proper like. If it's smaller than your face, it's not the right size. It's as big as your uh, face, and the frosting is yeah. half chocolate, half vanilla. Half tro yes, although oh, yeah. uh, the cookies good, all the same. Yes, a good bakery though, like the place where I get mine, um, they typically will also have the all blacks and the all whites as well. Uh, you you see mostly black and white, but if you're like I don't, I just like the vanilla side. You can get an all white, or you can get oh, a black or all chocolate. I, I like the mix. I did. Yeah, I do oh, too. Like yeah. Taste, but they're I, very cakey. 
I had to buy Amy some of those too. I mean, she expected me to use all my comps on her. Like what a freeloader who does that? Typical Amy. Yeah, I got cookie. I got martini. <laughs> uh, cookies in a, I mean, if you really think about it, if you get cookies in a drink, that's like the full Brian experience. Mm-hmm. It's a chocolate drink too. So, you know. Yeah, I mean, I mean a yeah. Reese's martini. I mean, come on. Yeah. I mean, next thing you know, yeah. it's going to peanut butter you. So it was nice. Uh, it was just nice to get away, even though a lot of things weren't open yet. It was, you know, not the weekend. Uh, but yeah, it, the restrictions are starting to be lifted. So I was kind of glad we were there before that happened. But at the same time, it's like, maybe it's time. I don't know. But yeah, it was good. And, and things are still cheap if you're curious to go. Yes. Awesome. Okay. I realized no, I didn't have dinner and we're recording chips. at night. Can we eat meat chips? Okay, we can, we can eat some meat chips because we have new Lay's BLT and summer BLT and summer BLT. And, yeah, yeah, sorry. And wait, I don't know what makes it a summer BLT and wavy jerk chicken. I was thinking the fresh tomato versus old. Have you ever had a BLT? Like, I mean, unless you go to Subway, who is perennially underripe tomato, it's always. I'm not really a fan of uh, raw tomatoes. So if I make a BLT, I remove the T and put in PB. I make a BLT, I remove the L. Um, here's my thing about a BLT of why I knew Brian wouldn't like it. Is the real star of a BLT is the mayonnaise. Oh, no, I never. No, no, no. Of course I would never do that. Then it's not a proper BLT. <laughs> the mayonnaise is what pulls it all together. Without mayonnaise, a BLT is trash. Smell the bacon. Okay, are these going to taste like mayonnaise? I wasn't expecting that so much. Whoa. I can taste bacon, lettuce, and tomato. That's actually good. And you know, one of the things about tomato for me, it's not the flavor, it's the texture. These are actually they did, good. Hmm. They did a... Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to say good. These are accurate. No, this the bacon, tastes like a BLT. Like, this is bacon, messing with my brain. You get like, all the flavors, but the bacon shines through, and that's what really. Yeah, I get more bacon than anything else. Like this tastes like when when you go to the diner and you order a BLT and they give you like that nice, thick, bacony lettuce, like the big thick one where like you're like I hope my jaw doesn't pop out because it's a good BLT. This tastes like that. This makes me want a proper BLT. Yeah, good job, Lee. That was good. So now we have jerk chicken. Do you think you could eat a whole bag of those BLT chips, Brian? I don't know if I could really eat a whole bag of any potato chips. Ooh. I like it's like I really like that, but I also feel like I'm already done with them. They feel very salty. Yeah. They do. Jerk chicken is okay. an authentic real jerk chicken is spicy. With Watch sweet, Brian's face, yeah. internet. Sweet and smoky jerk flavor. I can smell the sweet. They're not sweet. Oh, and they're uh Ooh. Fresh. Wavy. And there's a little heat. I'm not getting much. There's a well, little heat. Yep. It is a little bit. That's a nice potato chip. Oh, the yeah. heat is very subtle. I like mm -hmm. this. I get the jerk seasoning. Ooh. And some chicken. It's it's intensifying, but I think I'm still okay. Mm -hmm. You know what I say to this? Yaman. Like I'm like if we were there, we would be fist bumping. I feel Jamaican. This is lovely. You are not though, so you don't need to do the accent. <laughs> that's that's how it's the words. Yeah, tomato's not good. Mm. All right, so I think oh, I think the spice is getting me. <laughs> I think what we're doing next is could be interesting. We have just classic Lay's potato chips from around the world. You just the and basic potato. Tip. Well, classic, like uh, all, almost all right. of them use the word classic in the name. So the Americans want to say classic. US. Yeah. The ones from China, uh, they clarify this is American classic flavor. In India, simple classic salted. Uh, although the, the Saudi Arabian ones, they just call it salt. Yeah. All right. But the same yellow bag everywhere. So classic Lay's just to refresh our palate. So the U.S. version? Mm -hmm. The American version. 
Lay's a very fine potato chip. Mm -hmm. Yep, tastes like a potato chip. You know what it makes me wonder? Why do they have all these nonsense flavors? Because this is kind of just like all a potato chip needs to be. And mm -hmm. this is like the perfect yeah. one to, to use French onion dip with. Or like just put in a hot dog, you know, on the bun. Or the just like chips. eat like a potato chip that doesn't need a condiment or a flavor. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, should we go with this simple, classic salted, uh, these are from China, no, where are these from? These are from India. India, okay, yeah, the Indian. These are product Indian. of India, and if you look, um, these are ridged, they're Lay's. Yep, They're also sealed very tight. Yes. Ridges here. I mean, this tastes very much like a ruffle. We, we could a little less greasy and a little less salty. Definitely less salty. Yeah, a lot for a simple classic salted. Mm hmm. Not that salty at all. Mm -mm. But there's definitely salt. You taste salt. Mm -hmm. It is a very simple chip. Mm -hmm. It is. But more potato flavor. Pretty good, though, too. Mm -hmm. All right. American classic flavor from China? From China, American classic. So, in theory, this should be the same as the actual American classic chip. Yeah, they're calling Except this them one here. has taken a, a long route to get to us. Maybe it's just luck of the draw, but these seem huge. They do seem huge. I think they're thicker. Oh. Mm. Mm-hmm. They're not as wafery crispy. They're not as crisp. They're not as greasy either. But I like them. They're tasty. They almost taste like if you made them at home. Mm -hmm. Like if you slice potatoes and put them in the air fryer. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm. When I have the two side by side, they're slightly less potatoey, maybe. But that's a word. Maybe. I don't know, Danny. I think it's less grease. Because Lay's, that has always been my kind of rub with Lay's. So they are very greasy chips. Yeah, your fingers really quickly get. Mm -hmm. The US original are very greasy, very salty, and very thin. Mm -hmm. All right, so the Saudi Lay's, salted Saudi Lay's. Arabia. These are just salt. Mm. Their texture is more like the US, but they're just as salty, but still less greasy, I think. These are definitely less salty as well. These almost taste like they could be the unridged version of the, the plain Indian ones. Or the simple classic. The, mm -hmm. yeah, plain, yeah. I think the Indian one was the most potato-y. Yeah, it was definitely the thickest too. Mm -hmm. I will say for four things that are allegedly the same, they are very different. They are, yeah. The are. American one is definitely the greasiest, which... Does that mm -hmm. surprise us? No. Yeah. Of the evil twins, I think, like, for my vote, the most evil might be the American one. I think it is. Ooh. I would agree with that. And I think my Well, now that I go back to it, like, having had the others going back to it, it's like super greasy saltiness is kind of making me a little happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, think, I think I might have to say, now, I love our listeners from India, but I think the Indian Lay's might be the evil one here just because the texture is a little bit thicker and it almost tastes like it's like an uncooked potato. I'm going to say the opposite. I think the Indian one is my favorite. Yeah. But I've always loved Ruffles more than Lay's. Wait, did I? I'm sorry, I meant the Chinese one. The Chinese one is. Uh, uh, the Indian one is, yeah, they have the ridges. That one might be my favorite. So good, I didn't offend our, our listeners from India. Yeah. I think the Chinese is my favorite. I could be wrong though. Yeah. 
I keep going back and forth. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I know the American's not. The USA version is not my favorite. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, okay, now, uh, speaking of international listeners, we, we should just pause for a second because last week something bizarre happened. Somehow we were the number one food podcast in Zimbabwe. So shout out to our Zimbabwean listeners. Yes, we should have said that from the start. Thank you, Zimbabwe, yes. for making us number one. You're the number yeah. one food podcast yeah. in all of Zimbabwe. We were like, what, 12 or 13 in arts, but food, number one. So if number there was one, one in person, I just download our whole backlog. Thank you. <laughs> you don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Hey, number one podcast somewhere. Yes, thank you. Was Zimbabwe. Oh, we we have, on to Brian. So which is well, which is the evil twin? Did we decide? And which is the the best twin of the four? Okay, I am going to stick with the Chinese as evil. As the most evil? As yeah, as the most evil chip. I'm sticking with U.S. I'm sticking with U.S. as the most evil okay. and India as the least evil. If I had to rank them, I would say India, China, Saudi Arabia, United States. That's scary because I think I agree with you. I would go India. Oh, shoot. I would go India, Saudi Arabia, U.S., China. Huh. So India wins, I think, is the... Is yeah, we're saying that. The simple classic salted Indian Lay's, maybe at some point in the future, we'll have them head up against American Ruffles. Yeah, I mean, they do have maybe an unfair advantage of having the Ruffles with the bridge on. Because yeah. Ruffles have bridges, and mm -hmm. so they win by not being the simple classic Lay's. All right, well, that's our show. Thanks for listening, no, everyone. Oh, not. we have more. Some of these are hot and sweet, Brian. They're not just heat. Yeah, let's try it. We have some other chips. This is American, but this is a flavor that first debuted in India, or not India, in Mexico. It was a Sabritas flavor in Mexico, and Lay's has brought it over to the United States. Adobadas, which is like an adobo chili sauce. From India, we'll go back there. We have the West Indies hot and sweet chili. So this is like both India and Caribbean. So it's from India, but a West Indies flavor. And then what I am calling guaranteed Brian face from China, wasabi potato chips. Can we start with the alabadas, please? Because I can we start with apologizing for not inviting me to Las Vegas and thus subjecting yourself to this? No, no, worth it. Okay. Yeah, we can start with adobadas. That smells good. Um, it says on the back, smoky, spicy, really? and crispy, and also delicioso. I get the smoky smell for sure. Oh, that smells like smoked paprika. Oh. That is a very red chip. It looks like a sweet potato chip. Hmm. Ooh. Ryan's waiting to get hurt, and it didn't hurt. It didn't. That doesn't mean it's not nasty. I like that. I'm tasting the pepper, and I don't like that. It's or the paprika. Really, yeah. Or maybe yeah. it's the paprika. Yeah, that's probably what the it paprika is. Paprika and tomato and lime. Uh, oh, yeah, I would recommend this. I would recommend this to a friend. If you like those three items, yeah. It also kind of tastes like a Frito, the chili cheese, free, the chili Fritos or whatever. A little are. bit. Yeah, I'll give you that, Amy. It does kind of taste like that. I think with a little bit of sausage or meat flavoring, it could easily be that. Yeah. But, yeah. Mm. Should we do the West Indies hot and sweet and then we'll yeah, end strong? Yeah, it over with. Oh, West Indies hot with. and sweet chili. This could be hot. It could be sweet. It could be hot and sweet. Oh. Also, this is another example of an Indian Lay's that has ruffles on it. It smells like Brian face. It looks like a red ruffle. The picture is chili peppers and garlic. Ooh. Huh. It is hot and sweet. Oh, it is sweet and then it gets hot. And there's garlic. Oh my goodness, there's garlic. That is like a sneak attack. 
that like just lured Brian in. He's like, ooh, that's sweet. And then it turns to fire. We've had worse. We have had worse. Yeah, it's not. That's a good chip. I find, I, I, I do feel the heat a little, but I find the garlic really pungent. I didn't... If you like a sweet and hot chip, that's a good flavor. Oh, my eyes just started burning out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, you know what that means? You know what you need, Brian? Wasabi. You need wasabi. And then, and then now I just realized there's three of these. So just think you're going to spend the rest of your life with one of these. Oh, no. Okay, wait. I need some plain salted potato chips here to clear well, up. The good news is you have four varieties of plain salted potato chips. It might take I'm all a, of them, too. This does not I'm a little too strongly of wasabi. I'm a little disappointed that these wasabi ones are not green, which means you could just sneak them into the other bag and surprise your friends. They don't smell too strongly of wasabi. Let's see. I mean, this is why people don't invite you to Vegas. <laughs> you might be onto something. They don't invite me anywhere, really. In fact, uh, if you tell people, I have not left. I've basically turned into Howard Hughes. I'm yeah, a, a recluse. That, that uh, one step out of his house for the last... You can't tell, but I have not trimmed my toenails in 18 months. <laughs> I have trimmed mine, but I save them in a little container by my bedside. Oh, yeah, Guys, like an don't adult. Don't talk about toenails. Talk about the potato chips. I'd rather talk Would you rather about talk about potato toenails or wasabi, Brian? Toenails. Okay. I would well, rather eat a toenail chip. right now. Well, even though I know how it's going to come out. Eat okay. the wasabi chip. It's not that strong. Okay. It's strong. If you eat it's not that several strong. pieces at once, it's stronger. You get the wasabi, full wasabi. The flavor but is strong, the spice isn't. Mm -hmm. I still don't like it. That's a well-rounded wasabi chip. Huh. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah, we got three guys. So we're going to FMK frolic with Mary and kill one of these. This one's easy, Brian. You should do this. I might, I, yeah, okay. I, I'm ready. I am ready. Yeah, go for it. Okay, so I'm going to have to kill the hot and sweet chili because that, that wasn't pleasant for me at all. Uh, it, it did the sneak attack, so it was like if I get arrested, self-defense, because it started it. Uh, so I'm killing that one. I'm going to shock everyone and marry the wasabi because it did not try to kill me. And it wasn't awful. Uh, it's going to be like uh, it needed its green card or something. It's going to be one of those marriages because it's green. Yeah. It'll be like um, the Lucky Dragon Casino. It paid its $500,000, got its citizenship, and then closed. Y yes, <laughs> exactly like that. So, yeah, we're going to get married, and, and we'll live together, but it's it's not going to be consummated. Um yeah, it and we'll put on a happy face when the you know person from the government shows up to check up on things. But yeah, otherwise, yeah, we'll get along fine. But as soon as we can, we're we're you're fine. done. Uh, I guess I am frothing with the adobadas then because um, you know it almost tasted like you know chili, like mm -hmm. you know not like the pepper, but like the food chili <laughs> that you put in a crock pot. Uh, it had a little spice, so you know what? It's it's going to be a little painful. It's going to be, you know, a little awkward at times, but sometimes the frolic is like that. So, you know, maybe it will be a learning. Your frolics experience. are painful and awkward, Brian? I mean, they, they can be. Yeah. Intentionally? Well, not intentionally, but it happens. You know, like, uh, remember when I did that uh, strip improv show and, you know. No. It's, oh, really? No. I thought you No, I've repressed it. I thought you were in the front row. Oh, that was nope. Amy. Um, nope. Yeah, um, and, and, and you know, someone uh, described it as having awkward nudity, and I said all of my nudity is awkward. Yeah, same thing. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. And you want me to go? You want to go? You go. Okay, well, I am going to kill wasabi. Aside from sushi, I don't uh, love wasabi and a ton of stuff. I do like it with my sushi, though. And you know what's interesting about that, Amy? 
I'm also going to, well, maybe we'll tag team this because I bet you and I agree. I'm also going to kill Wasabi. Do you know why I'm killing Wasabi? Hmm. Because I thought Wasabi was going to give me Brian face and it didn't. <laughs> It was also on top of that. It was a weak wasabi flavor. It was a weak wasabi. I wanted, I wanted like just epic Brian face, and it was kind of a mild wasabi. And so now you've got to go. Yeah. So you hire the hitman. They didn't do their job. So now you have to kill the hitman. Right. Exactly. Because they have they've got dirt on me, and they didn't do the job. <laughs> so goodbye. What are you frolicking with? Or I'm going to frolic. Marry? This was actually a hard choice for me between which one of these I wanted to marry and which one I want to frolic with. But I'm going to frolic with the Adobadas. Oh, we don't agree anymore. You finish I yours. I figured. Mm-hmm. Um, well, see, it was a 50-50 shot. I could actually frolic with that, marry the other, then divorce that and marry the... Anyway. I mean, you could just go back and forth, too. Pretty much is what I'm saying here. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I decided to frolic with the Adobadas because it is similar to the chili Fritos. And so then I can get that flavor elsewhere. It's not that special. No, it's actually, yeah, it's an adobo sauce. Yeah, it's a very common seasoning, but not on other things. Right. And and I wasn't sure I wanted to actually marry the West Indies hot and sweet. Though I love the hot and sweet, I might have to turn in my half French card because I found the garlic just a little too strong to balance Mm. the rest of the flavors. But the hot and sweet one's out. I like the spice. I, I like the kick. It keeps things interesting. So yeah, I'm, that's kind of why I, yeah, that's why I frolicked with the, the hot and sweet because like, you meet it and you're like, oh, you're really sweet. I kind of like you. And then all of a sudden it gets like unexpectedly hot. <laughs> that's a frolic where you're just like, hey, nice to meet you. You seem sweet. Yeah. And then you're like. Like the librarian that takes off the glasses and, and does the hair, and it's like, ooh, like that. Yes. Okay. That. Yeah, I know that's Hold your on. fantasy. So let me just let me just have a minute. Okay. <laughs> it's very much like that. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, it is. It's a lot like that. Mm. Um, and then I, I'm gonna marry the adobo dust. That was just a good chip. It was. It had everything you'd want in a potato chip. It was a little salty. A little had some interesting flavor. You know, like I said earlier, why would you need to flavor a potato chip? But at least that was interesting and snackable. Unlike pretty much all the other flavored chips we had, I could eat a bag of those. Like BLT and jerk chicken, I'm already tired of. Mm. The the classics, they're fine. Like they're good. But if I'm gonna have like wasabi is dead to me. Like that frolic was sweet and hot, but like I don't want that all the time like once i know like once the hair like the thing about the sweet and hot is like once the librarian's hair goes down you you can't put it back up right yeah you know the pandora's box was open yeah and so like now that i know now that i've experienced that whatevs uh but adobe dust that was solid i could i could have a long-term deal with that you know one thing i did notice about all three of these is they were not nearly as salty as american chips so i'll no. give them credit for that yeah. True. nor is greasy i don't think right so yeah the adobe dust you can actually get in the united states now the others i mean like they're made they're like in your american grocery store aisle. you don't have to go to an international store for them if you go to your local mega mart they may have the adobe dust i've even seen them like in a walgreens so they're around and I'll marry them. I'll just keep going back and forth between that and and. <laughs> that's cool. Do we have anything else to talk good, about? Guys. I think that's it for the week. This is our Vegas and chips and oh yeah, in Vegas I only wanted to sit down and eat at a poker table once. I thought it was a restaurant, but yeah. Oh yeah, Brian's like we could go over there, and I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's a poker table. No, well, but, that but, explains all the chips too. Yep, exactly. So, <laughs> thank you so much for listening, everyone. Have a great week. Yes, bye, you. everyone. Bye. Oh, that was an adventure, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. Yeah, thanks for thanks hanging for out being here with us. <laughs> we found the line. Lynn Lee said when I talked about the toenail, that's that was too much. That's the that's the you know, of <laughs> all of the lines that we that we found in this episode. <laughs> I thought the MMs were gonna kill you. I don't even know why. Well, um yeah, a little slip of the tongue. <laughs> Go on.
But go back and listen. I know you won't, but go back and listen. And <laughs> I do. Yeah, I, I said something I didn't mean to say. And <laughs> yeah. What? Huh. Anyway. Something about rocking and nuts and, you know. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Anyways. Bye, YouTube. Yeah, have a great week, everyone. Yes, we'll talk to you. is like an we'll onion. See. I am. I have so many layers. Uh, none, none of which, like, as you get to the heart of the onion, it doesn't get any better. It's just more. Danny, I think you're like a parfait. I love a parfait. Um, or maybe I'm like a trifle. You try yeah. anyways. You're kind of a trifle a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> I'll save the rest for my therapist to figure out. Oh, yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Good times. <laughs>